Of all the winged wonders in a summer garden, there's a new flight of fancy taking hold. Flower fairies are capturing a lot of attention as summer garden art. Okay, okay, I know some of you aren't into this at all. But let's face it, from flamingos to fairies, garden art has always been a very personal thing. Of course, fairies are always a big hit with the kids. Hannah loves to hunt them, but would you be surprised that grown men like them too? Heck, you'd think the darn things were real, judging by the reaction they get. I love them. <laughs> I did. will <laughs> gush over them. And uh, um, some folks have taken a, a good hour to choose between the ones they want. Okay, okay, well, John prefers the toads, but that's another story. These botanically correct fairies at Garden Corner in Tualatin are based on drawings done in the early 1900s by famed fairy artist Cicely Mary Barker. The larger-than-life fairies go for more than $100, while their tiny cousins are less than 20. They collect hordes of them. And what do they do with them? Lots of people like to buy them and put them in their little gardens for, like, their grandchildren to discover. Sure, they defy all rational thinking, but big or small when it comes to flower fairies, some people love them all.